Hello everyone, I'm back with another video, and in today's video, we're going to be up against uh, Cap Mixon and Toon Army, and the map is uh, Razor Blood. Okay, so uh, before we start, make sure to subscribe if you're new to my channel, and of course, turn on the notification to all notifications, so you're not going to miss an upload or stream from my channel. Let's begin. Okay, so I'm going to be the yellow player, and my partner Karafaki will be the red player. So, uh, let's go. Fast forward a bit as I uh, get her the containers. Okay. Getting the containers on the ocean as much as I can. Oh, not that. Okay. Super container appearing right over there. Horse. Aviation. Dragonfly. Okay. And the uh, armadillo and the wasp, along with uh, some riflemen around here. However, a uh, Toon Army came in with the heavy assault Delta and Cerberus. So that's actually a very good thing, apart from going for well typhoons, because heavy assaults are both effective on land and on helicopters. Very good choice, if I you know if I have to say, and it's actually cheaper too. And you can actually produce a lot of heavy assaults at the, start, at the start of the game as opposed to having one special vehicle factory for level 2 for a Typhoon production and it being more expensive. Going HQ3. So I absolutely, you know, I, 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 I did just uh, ditch the effort in terms of getting that super container as I know I will end up getting, you know, getting retracted for it. Now, looking at uh, Karapaki around here, he's actually doing great here as to oppose uh, Cap Mixon. He's uh, destroying that um, power plant, which is a very, very good thing. Okay, He's also using Wasp and so on, and he's going for Mole Factory as well as Aviation. Meanwhile, um, Toon Army attacked my base with those uh, heavy assault, and I got like a ton of riflemen against those. In addition to the armadillos that I got to oppose that Cerberus. And I would like to keep that porcupine alive by microing, you know, controlling it away. Reinforcement from uh, Toon Army. Again, active ability has been activated from that Cerberus. Heavy assault. And I got like a ton of riflemen around here to get rid of those heavy assaults. And now I'm going to have to get rid of those hammer and so on and so forth. Well done, I have to say. Good defense here in my end. However, he actually took out one of my porcupines and three armadillos with that. So I would say it's not really a bad trade. He did deal some good amount of damage in there. Okay. All right, so this scout, uh-huh, saw that there's like this for a base for Cap Mixon. Um, already got a Faki has a hawk out and so on. Good scout here, going HQ level 4, or HQ level 4 as Toon Army, and I'm just going for, well, basically, um, HQ level 4, uh, for me, okay? So, he actually got the edge there as he got that super container at the start, okay? Seraphim has been zoned out by that hawk from Karapaki, meanwhile, on my end, I'm just going the traditional, um, new meta that I'm trying to do, which is some dragonflies mixed with porcupine, a uh, mammoth um chameleon and wasp and leviathan okay so we're gonna have to take advantage of this uh location or get that location secured got a Faki with the scout denying with those three vertex going hq level four i scout a Faki here i tried to attempt to scout the uh both of them okay leviathan is now in production HQ4 still going on in here, and uh, Karapaki has three Jaguars and a Mole, which is quite good. Meanwhile, I'm going to hide some infantry here uh, across the forest or the bushes to somewhat get details. Now, ooh, two heroes here, the Cerberus and the Seraphim, and now those, uh, oh, okay, that's very, very good, gaining high ground vision as well as free damage with those uh, mole turrets. Those are free. Okay, hawks here, let's see. Uh-huh, they managed to take out one hawk at the expense of 
I believe that's gonna be a Seraphim getting picked up. Oh, that is so close. That is so close. Come on, come on. Get it going back for more. Bam. Okay. He managed to successfully destroy that Seraphim. However, Cat Mixon managed to grab all the containers from that super container. I believe a, a wasp and or a leviathan is now in production. For me, the leviathan is out. Additional air, avia, avia factory, and uh, chameleon mammoth jaguar production. Again, shield is already out from uh, from Cap Mixon, and three jaguar small, two porcupines, as well as three hawks is all that he has at least for the time being. Meanwhile, I'll grab a hold of this container as uh, no one's contesting for it. Okay, now I saw some units here from uh, Toon Army and I'm going to have to retreat for a moment. And there goes that um, Seraphima, you know, that Seraphima trying to uh, trying to damage my stuff here with a sneak attack. However, thanks to my hidden infantry, I managed to see where it will come from. Now Katapaki here with the assist with those uh, Hawks. Okay. And uh, ooh, Solaris. For Zeus in the shield along with the Cerberus in an assault. Now, Chameleon here has yet to pop out. Mm-hmm. Solid damage there from that uh, Solaris. Okay, so they're actually trying to munch off the HP. Now, I'm going to have to try and assist the uh, Katapaki way sending six Dragonflies and a Wasp here in my end. But thanks to the lag, I was not able to properly micro it. Lack of Typhoon here as the shield ran out of energy. There you go. Five Typhoons is here. And uh, I'm actually lagging at this point. And I could not really activate the uh, active skill or the acid burst here. Where I was unable to drop it thanks to the lag. Circle thingy Imba. Now, my Dragonfly actually covered the Hawks of uh, Karapaki. And managed to destroy some units as well. As the uh, damage from that nuclear is quite great. Now, I'm going to have to retreat here for a moment as I only have one chameleon, five jaguars, and four porcupines in a mammoth. So he has like that many of an army. Okay, I'm not underestimating that. It's actually quite dangerous. Okay, here we go. Mole is now in production. Almost going to pop out now. Spread the chameleon apart. Leviathan is here along with that dragonfly that will be destroyed. And we got like the seraphim around here. Switch to common attack boost, and then I'll have to focus my uh, duck, my attack onto that Seraphim, preventing it from sneaking past my defenses. There you go, moving my chameleons around as to not uh, or avoid any direct hit. Mole here with the assistance of the turret. Okay, so both me and Cap Mixon or Karafaki is in trouble. Uh, defending our base with just a few units against so many confederation units. Okay, there you go. I'm going to have to retreat as my uh, Leviathan is low on health and the active or passive ability has been activated. Yep, I'm going to have to somewhat keep that chameleon inside the repair radius of my mole, keeping it alive for a longer period of time. There you go. I managed to thin out the army over time as the damage is getting inflicted again and again. There's only one shield here. Looking at the Karapaki is going to manage and destroy that Solaris where it is not microed properly. There you go. <clears throat> and on to the Seraphim. Come on. Okay, Acid Burst. Okay, not a good idea to continue with that. Oh! Boom! Solid hit going back here only the typhoons are alive along with the solaris which is never a good thing as the confederation mammoths helping at the back if you may have noticed dealing damage from afar and acting as you know basically a heavy, a heavy hitter now cap mixon is going back here for to continue the attack however the lack of zeus is very evident as he only has like four zeus and the rest are typhoons and the cerberus in the belly sir Badly bruised up Seraphim. Okay. There you go. GG. Oh! Did it? Oh, okay, it died. 
Okay, so I'm going to have to retreat here for a moment. As my Leviathan is not present, it's actually where it's still recovering the HP from that previous engagement. And now I'm going to back up since I have Mammoths. I don't want to lose those Mammoths for they are slow at backing out. So I'm going to have to retreat while I still can and avoid further losses. Ooh, barely dodging that active skill from the Solaris. Cerberus made a suicidal run. Alright, now I got like a few dragonflies around here to soak up the damage of those heavy assaults and also the typhoons. Let's see what's going on here. Um, Katafaki is now pushing uh, um, Gapmixon back due to the lack of Solaris. His army count is building up. He has all three heroes, a decent class of heroes at that. Meanwhile, on my end, I'm just going to keep my uh, distance here from Toon Army, and I'm going to have to get this super container so that I can further my advantage. Fast forward a bit. Okay, we're going to have to grab that super container now. And so I'm positioning my army in this aisle as it is narrow. And I have dragonflies and the leviathan along with the wasp to secure this position and gain high ground view. Meanwhile, um, Cap Mixon managed to put um, Karapaki on the, on the retreat as there's only a few or handful of units here. The Hawk made quick work of that Seraphim that is on aviation mode. Um, probably missed my crowd. Should be on march mode by now. And there you go. Getting rid of that Typhoon. And now I'm trying to get rid of uh, Toon Army's Seraphim. Again, just retreating around here. Now, having the Porcupines attack, since there are Typhoons to cover that uh, Seraphim to act as an anti-air to zone out my stuff. Seraphim's been taken out. The lack of Typhoon from Cap Mixin is very evident. As you guys can see, there's no Typhoons around here. There's only one or two. That was a big mistake. <coughs> Excuse me. And now I got like this for an army. I got like full command points as well. Activating two chameleons at a time. And here we go. I'm expecting that Cerberus to jump, which it did. Okay, active skill of the Wasp Acid Burst. Come on, turrets from the mall has been obliterated with one Solaris uh, passive ability. Wasp is taken out. Leviathan to take the damage and dish out the nuclear. Boom. Huge damage in the center. And then the dragonflies are now attacking whatever is left. Hawk um, assistance here from Karapaki covered by my uh, dragonfly. As those hawks are not targeted just now uh, when my last dragonfly died off. Okay, fast forward a bit here. And now, ooh, solid hit with that acid from the wasp, as well as the nuclear, and those shield are now being taken care of. There you go. Oh, that one hawk will be destroyed. Meanwhile, here at my end, I'm going to have to push forward in the hopes of attacking and destroying two an army's base. Okay, Serapima here from uh, Cap Mixon. Active ability, been boom, oh, solid hit, taking out a porcupine, a jaguar, and a chameleon. And now, oh man, that, that jump though was not really accurate. And he now has like six typhoons here, which again, he lacks typhoon count because there was, there is still like those hawks around there. And the shield count too. There you go. Not really that good. Okay. Okay, now. So, Cap Mixon kept attacking with a small number of shield and typhoons. Um, you normally need, like, around... Oh, you even have Thors. Okay, so that's why. You have less uh, ground army composition thanks to the Thors. Thors has now been destroyed by the Hawks. Last line of defense here from Katafaki. Meanwhile, here on my end, I nuked the two rocket towers that are being built and are currently sieging Toon Army's base as we both push back both the uh, Confederation players in this battle. Solaris has been destroyed. Okay, there is no anti-air around here as that Solaris runs for its life. 
And now I got like the dragonfly around here, the wasp and the leviathan to take care of that Solaris and finishing it, uh, to finish it once and for all. There you go. So yes, again, if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to subscribe, smash the like button, ring the bell icon to be notified of any content coming out from my channel. Uh, leave your comments down below as to what are your thoughts from this video. Likewise, everyone, thank you so much for watching. Have yourself a great day and good luck with your battles. Bye now.